big old beast, ain't it? Customer's not said anything, but I don't think it's a good idea to unload on this tarmac, so I'm just going to maneuver it so I can unload straight onto the grass. That's something different. Name three motorcycle circuit. In my first motorcycle racing, I thought it all been dug up. Quick eye move. Busy in here, he's redoing. Monday night done, ready for Tuesday. 140 W, one of my favourites. And we're off down to Wales with this tomorrow, so we'll be in early. Yeah, that's Monday night done. See you all tomorrow, folks. Good night. Tuesday morning, we're on the way. Just stop and check around the chains. Last night I had the boom out along there, but it was just a little bit the dipper out a bit along there. It just looked a little bit wrong. It's a bit high for me. So usually, if it doesn't look right, it probably isn't. So I prefer it like that. It's all chained down safe. It's fine. We get them attachments. On here. This is a tricky one. I've never been on this side before. Uh, well, I have, but they reversed it off the road uh, when it was a brand new site. So all this is new to me. And <laughs> yeah, we found the way out. We just need to get these attachments off now. Uh, Ollie's left a Volvo over there, so I can use that. That'll get them all off. We're just gonna put them to one side because I've got to zoom off and get some blocks. Back 
out with these blocks uh, from Singleton. But you need a special attachment to get them off, so I've got that because obviously I loaded second. So uh, let's get cracking on. Even Stu's put pitching in to get these off, so let's get going. Stu's and I, we're done. Uh, got our blocks off. Big help from Drew, uh, Smudge, and, and Stuart from the office. So I know it was something like six minutes to get them off. <laughs> so I gave the trailer a quick blast off now, but I'd say it's time time to go. It's uh, about four minutes to seven now, and I need to get on home. So uh, been a busy day, been lots to do. Uh, see you all later. Take care, folks. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. First one today. Let's go. This department aren't filming this because this machine has just been sold to a local firm called JN Sibbles. So that's a real result, that is. It's great for all of us. Brand new, out for delivery. No chain protector in there. That'll do. Okay, one bucket, that'll do for me. Nice and easy. Yeah, nice machines, these. I'm really getting to like these. Let's be doing. So I was ready for tomorrow. Nice early dark tonight, that'll do. Even Stu noticed I was getting tired. That'll do. So it's morning, it's time for the off. Not going far with this one. I think we're out out of the way of everybody here, so come on, get it off here.
this little dozer is going to an urban site so I've got the blade straight across because if you put it down one side to the opposed to the other you're gonna I'm gonna be facing a lot in parked cars on my near side so I'd rather have it high up on both sides and it's only a little blade I know it looks big to the uninitiated and even in this video but it isn't it's not that big so you can see around it especially with quite reversed on you can see plenty around the, the mirrors so it's easy enough to manoeuvre and if, uh, if it comes to it these marker boards they're easily removed and we'll put them on the trailer until we get in the site and it gets tricky She'll do. Brew time now, it's just some. Well, it's lunchtime actually, never mind brew time. Come on. Another one, not in the best condition. Let's get it home, it's only around the corner. Here we are, back in Scania's. Hang on a minute. I think that's my mate Dan's wagon, that. Queen Bill of Elf. Bit of a hurry up and wait this morning. Uh, M60 shuts out, pal. So we're going to have to have a look at the map and find a different way down to Congleton. Okay, that'll do it. This site's nearly finished now, so I was lucky to get any space at all to get that machine. They're actually digging up the compound. So I, if you can see, I've parked next to a dropper so the vehicles and other people can get past as I'm putting on a 225. <laughs> it pays to look ahead. Could have been a tricky one. I was really glad to see the agent and her team were still here. 
And the other side of that is, they said to me, they were so glad that the job was done in such a stress-free way. So that's pretty cool, wasn't it? If you've got a system for loading and unloading, it, you can't always stick to it, but if you've got a basis of an idea of what you want to do, the rest of it sort of falls into place. I've got rubber tracks that are a bit wobbly when they go over, but we're fine. So you just get the basics right, and it allows you to do other things, should you need to. Alright, let's go and put this away. As I come closer to the balance point and the danger area, he's been around machines all his life and he just instinctively knows to move away. And look, there he goes, he moves away from the danger area and wants to get the machine on. No problem at all. That's Noel off home. See you later. Have a nice weekend, pal. Right, see you later, guys. See you later, mate. Friday night, we've got this on for tomorrow morning, we've got a few jobs to do tomorrow. The M6 motorway near us has been shut all day today due to a tragedy incident. So we've got, we've got to catch up tomorrow I suppose. So that's the first one of a few. Saturday morning, daily checks. Just looking at this roller, I, I I find it easier to reverse these on. I think they secure better. And uh, if you see here with a bit of dunnage there, it stops the, the counterweight. If it's not really a counterweight, it's the rear bumper from banging into the, into the neck, but it's butted up against the trailer. So it's very safe like that. The locking pin's on the other side of one of these, very tricky thing to put in, but it's there. But yeah, I, I think they're just easier to put on. If I put it on the other way, I'm pretty sure this, that all this would get the scratch for trailing. But it's just my opinion. It, I checked with our advisor and he said it's perfectly legal to put them on reverse. So yeah, do it like this. I think it works like this. Uh, the leadership have just opened up. That's good. I'd rather it took this outside, but it won't let me. It's, although it looks fairly benign, this ground, it's not particularly low loader friendly. So uh, well, this is far enough. I have to get that 40 tonner out next week. So that should be interesting. You can see here, uh, when I get this machine off, the, the, the axis is really rutted. So ruts and low loader trailers do not work well together. So I nip over it and <laughs> give it a bit of a roll just to try and help myself get out later. Well, that's the start. It's nice and clean. Always helps that. You're on straight if a locking pin goes in without protest.
that's it we're done uh back in just after dinner that's okay we had a busy day we had one fail it was machine were locked up and we weren't going to get that out without breaking a few locks open and not our locks so we can't do that but uh, yeah successful uh successful little moves and stuff like that and that's been really good so uh yeah i'd say i'm not loading for monday because uh, i don't like loading leaving weight on it over at weekend so I prefer my tyres to be on my trailer, on that side of the road. So that's us, yeah. Now, uh, if you cast your mind back about a fortnight ago, uh, I was working in the yard with Ollie, and we were getting a, a Lugong 922F ready. Uh, we we did some of the preparation for it, and it what happened was it was it was going to the Royal Manx show, and and then it's going on a long term hire on the Isle of Man, so. It's been over there, and if you get the chance to see my friend Mike and his YouTube channel is Trucker Mister B. I'll put the link in the description anyhow, and you'll you'll see it get delivered. <laughs> uh, John takes it off the guy who runs uh, the Isle of Man Depot, and it, it were a bit of a showstopper. It, it, they had a really good show at the Manx Show, the Royal Manx Show, so it's a big thing. And uh, they made a really good impression, you know, so they worked, John and his team have worked incredibly hard to get everything right for the show and they work hard all the time anyhow. So give it a look if you get the chance and uh, you can see our handiwork. <laughs> we, we did the, Ollie and I did the preparation and, uh, and uh, had some more expert people come in to finish it off. <laughs> so that's us that's uh saturday finished uh, week finished hopefully we'll see you all again on monday take care see you later bye bye